Okay, so uh, one of the first videos I'm just going to set up is actually getting Kangaroo. A lot of people have a problem uh, installing Kangaroo because there's two versions. I like to use the slightly more stable version of Kangaroo 0.9 instead of Kangaroo 2. Uh, purely because Kangaroo 2 can be a little bit confusing and there are a lot of tutorials out there also they they work with Kangaroo, the original Kangaroo. So to get Kangaroo we need to go to foodforrhino.com um, and it's changed its appearance recently. Um, if it's not showing up in the featured apps uh, for Grasshopper then we're going to just type kangaroo in, spell it correctly. Um, and when we go to download it, we want to, instead of downloading the current version 2.2.1, uh, instead we want to download 0 0.099. So we'll hit download. And I'll save that file. And that's going to open up this zip. We want to extract the contents of the zip, uh, depending on the zip uh, software that you're using. I'm just going to copy it. Uh, into the users, in my case it's AB, app data, roaming, grasshopper, libraries, uh, and they've actually given us some user objects through here as well. So if you cut that out of libraries and instead place it into user objects then they will be usable. If you go back to libraries just make sure that your DLLs are unblocked. So uh, it's bifocals. So GHAs or grasshopper assembly files are also DLLs so if you right click and select properties that'll show you the DLL settings and we want to set that to unblock and we need to do that for all the DLLs unblock 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 great now when we run grasshopper or rhino to begin with We should have the 0 0.099 version of Kangaroo. So here it is. And I believe the user objects have come in here. So there's origami that we saw uh, in the user object folder. Cool.